Hello everyone, this is Tim, how have you I? Just an update, just say I'm getting a new printer. It's a printer what I had before, HP Photosmart C4680. I already had this printer already, but the tray extender broke. It was where my, where my stereo is now. But I've moved the, the printer or the scanner over here, it's got a lot of cans on it at the moment, so but I found it a HP one. I thought, I don't know why I'm nervous. Um, the HP one was better at scanning, so for example, if I was going to scan this, the HP will put the colors as closely to what I'm showing you now. This one, this one is a bit iffy, sometimes the scanner doesn't want to work. And it, and it can be, be a bit annoying. So, yeah, I'm going to get that on the 7th of March. So that's my update for that. The reason why I'm getting a new one, I think I already covered it, is I'm getting it to replace the one I already had. Because Trey said they're broke. But I found it's quite hard to get now. It's not... It's not um, easy to get hold of well certainly not on amazon.co.uk I searched eBay and I just want to click printers there's so many here one is this one in the United States but this, this one it was a bite now I'm trying to find it here it is collection only which is good and it's in London so I can contact the person I didn't mean the 7th of March, I mean the 4th of March that I'll be getting it. Um, I'm actually going to go, well, go to where I need to go collect it. Uh, so I'm going to contact the seller on the 6th, no, on the 4th. Hopefully it's still there, if not, then I've got another one to go to. And it's it is a good it this is a good printer. I don't know what I'm pointing at TV for. Uh, right. See what I'm doing. Right, this is a good printer or scanner, but sometimes it can be a bit annoying. It doesn't want to scan. With the with the printer, this printer. I had to make a lot of mid tone. What well, basically what I mean, if I was going to scan something, I had to adjust the brightness or mid tones to get the colours to be represented as closely to the original scan. So yeah, as I showed you on eBay, I'm going to get this printer. I can't afford it at the moment. And this one here was good, fifteen ninety nine uh, pounds. But it's got fifteen postage, fifteen pound postage, because I I could have got the printer directly from Amazon.com, but thing is I don't have the cables anymore for for the thing. I mean I could get one. It's just that you had to pay import fees and blah 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 blah, so that can be quite annoying. Um, it is quite. I don't know if it's cold where you are, but it's really cold here. It's not like bitterly cold. Um, it's not like. Oh, it is. But it is quite cold actually. But I've been in this situation before. But it feels cold. Um, obviously, it's colder on. It's cold outside. But apparently we're going to get rain tomorrow. Well, today, uh, be, be tomorrow for the Americans, be today for me. So that's what I meant, not not tomorrow. It's already, it is today already. Uh, yeah, going to get heavy rain on Saturday. No, not. Going to get heavy, heavy, heavy rain on Wednesday. Really from... Nine all the way to six o'clock, so that that's the rain. Well, I don't mind the rain. It's just that I don't like being out in it. 
because I don't like getting wet. Um, so basically, I don't. I'm really not fussed really if it's cold or warm. Um, I suppose. Um, I think it's a blessing anyway. So you have to rain, you have the sun. And a lot of people complain about when it rains that the sun's not shining. But what they've failed to realise is that when it's really hot, especially I've experienced this, I haven't been there, but when it was really warm in the Hebrides, I went there in the summer. It was really warm actually, it was like 25 degrees. And it was raining, so sometimes the heat, the humidity, can set off a thunderstorm or whatever. So people say, oh, I, uh, uh, I want it to be sunny, but I don't want it to rain. But you can't have it both. You can't have it both. You can't have it both ways. Because it, it's like, unless it's really dry, but then it's not like a desert or anything. So yeah, I don't, I, I don't, I don't, Minor cold, but I don't, um, I'm not really fussed by it really. What I really don't like people when they say, so for example, if you had a plane that looks a certain color or something, people might say, Oh, it should be this color or it should be that color. It's like the new bus in London, it's a redesign of the Route Master, and it's just been modernized. So basically, you might have the features of the old design and on the new design in in the same vehicle but people say oh the bus is like it's too much money for or, or, or whatever i can understand that as well but it's when we say oh um they are um questioning the looks of it and then thinking well hang on a minute what's more important the color of well, not, not the colour, but the design of the bus, or that you're going to get to your destination. Because who, who cares what the, this, what the design is, as long as you get to your destination. It's like the new cab in London. I think uh, New York, the new uh, taxi. People complain about the design of it, and thinking, well, the thing is, as long as you're going to get... To your destination, as long as you're gonna, because it's not it's not really about comfort because the coaches that I've been on, they don't have the best comfort. But you get to your destination if you know what I mean. So I I, I don't know. I just don't really, I, I don't see the point. If you're gonna criticize the looks, you might as well criticize the journey because it doesn't make sense. You can criticize like, like the feel of of, like if you're on the coach, the the comfort of it or the feel of it. But when people um, complain about the looks, it's just saying, well, what's the point? What is the point of people saying, oh, I don't like that color because it's, I don't like that car because it's um this feature which I don't need what well, the thing is you might not use that feature right but as long as you're going to get to the destination that's all that matters right stupid people alright and the other thing I don't like um this video is not just about ramblings by the way is the flappy bird Creator, who basically I don't know what, I don't know what his name is. Basically, said he took the game down because it was a ditch. And well, why even make the game in the first place? It's like core design for Tomb Raider. They could have given up after the first game, but they didn't because it was popular. If it's if the game is popular, why just the thing, oh, I, I can't be, I can't be bothered with this. I just chuck the game out the window or something. And the, the most popular games, for example, Sonic the Hedgehog Two, 
if that wasn't made, Sonic wouldn't be where it is now. Because yes, you have the the, the the original game, but Sonic Two, it brought something new. I don't have a console or anything to play Sonic. I want to get a SNES a bit later on this year, but but the Flappy Bird. I'm thinking. I feel like I said grow up because it's whether he made it to get attention. Uh, this about the app person, I forget his name. Um, Dong Guyen, I think that's how you pronounce his name, saying, he said, it's fame ruins my simple life. Well, why make the game? Well, you make the game for fun, I can understand that. But you have to be prepared that everything could go out the roof. Well, what I mean by that is that you could find that you might do have an idea, like Dragon's Den, you might have an idea, and it's really popular. You can't say, I, I'm going to give up on my business plan, like Chris Brillo. If he gives up on his bit, if if he, imagine when he started, and he given, and he just gives up halfway through, he's not going to get far, is he? He's not going to get far, he keeps giving up. Well, he's not giving up, but it comes across like he's giving up. Uh some stupid people. I'm scan. I'm scanning. No, I'm not scanning. I'll be scanning maybe in a few weeks. Um, I won't say a few weeks. Not this month. I, I want to get this printer. Well, I've already covered this HP Photo Smart. Because I was saying to Mark, the clear cassettes. Do you know one? One of one with a um grey plastic film. It scans it better on the HP than it does on here. And yes, and and, and it's good. And I'm not sure what to scan. Because I've got Rummy Cut on the Clan. I've got two versions. They're, they're different. Two, two versions. If I had to show the back. Made in England, and then CD, C, CD, one six six nine, and then the barcode, or whatever, and then this one, different cat number, and manufactured in the UK. There's two copies, and I'm not sure what to scan. I don't know if I scan these, and the flat the condor got about three versions. Or, because I, I want to get a few things I want to scan, so maybe some worship artists, Chris Tomlin. I got Chris Tomlin stuff. I mean, getting the spare to to scan, um, Matt Redman or whatever. But I, I'm not sure whether to wait until I get this other printer. Because obviously it scans better, or use this one. This one is alright, but it's just the mid tones can be a bit annoying. The brightness it can be hard to get it exactly to be to exactly to be represented as closely to the original. So as I was showing you before, I said about this printer, a lot of my, a lot of my scans that I've submitted for Discogs it's been used in this printer this album just load it right turn your camera around right you might not be able to see this properly but the colour isn't as isn't true I had to do a lot of adjusting to to get this right. So if you see the back cover here it's not picking it up. It's a bit lighter than what it's than what's showing on the thing. So so basically sometimes it doesn't um like I showed you to see, I showed you the thing 
and the blue it looks like a light sky blue the scan that I just showed you isn't this scan here it's not picked up it correctly if you if you go oh there if you catch my drift right I got the album just gonna bung it from here just take it from here oh right I've got the CD now and see if this picks it up this print this this camera might not pick everything up right so what I'm showing you is actually like a lightest brown but it's picking it up like gold which isn't really as close to the scan at all and the, the blue is actually darker so it's like a navy blue but this one is pick up a, like really light blue so, so so that could be really annoying just one question or issue I should I wait until I buy the printer the one I've been showing you showing you about or should I just go with the scans anyway well but what I mean should I just scan it both of these yeah sh should I wait until I get the printer the, the scanner or should I just scan anyway should I just scan these obviously use my turn sender but it's a longer process because it so about this long segment uh, so about that keeps saying the same thing should I wait a question for you should I wait until the I bought the printer and it come and it's come to my door or should I I just scan anyway just scan as, as best as I can get these as close to well, the colors as well and just and, and just go for it I know what I want to do I want to scan but I don't want the, the color to be off so like this album the blue the actual title on the spine I don't know if I can my eyes a bit numb I'll just turn it upside down as you can see yeah so it's like a navy blue so I'm not sure I'm not scanning this again should, yeah should I just wait for the printer wait until I have it or should I just do the scans anyway hi I'm getting a bit tired now oh it's shy um and a, and a thank you oh, I'm tired that's all I've got time for today and and I have to say this before I go have a great day. Thank you for liking my videos. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for promoting my videos across the YouTube spectrum. Bye bye. Bye bye for now. Bye bye. Ooh, I got snide. <laughs>